Hey guys, it's Dami and I'm going to be doing a subscription box review on Vinebox. Now, um, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but I actually did a subscription uh, review on this sometime last year. Um, so I was really, really excited when I got this in the mail so I can review it again. All right, so this is Vinebox. As you guys can tell, it is a wine subscription box, which I am super, super excited about because you guys know I love me some wine. And you open it up this is what it looks like so I have these three vials and then you get this envelope and inside the envelope is going to be three cards and it gives you information on your wines okay um, and then there's like quotes on the back now I will tell you the first time I reviewed this box I was actually really really surprised um, with just the amount of information they give you I think this is a great box for people that um, maybe not beginner wine um, people that are like beginners but I would say if you have um, adapted um, your palate for like both whites and reds um, I actually think this is a really really good um, subscription box for you like a really good one all right, so let's go ahead and check out the wine. So the first one I'm going to check out is, now if I remember correctly, these wines are actually kind of strong, so um, it's 12 o'clock, so it's okay. It's all right. You guys can't judge me, or at least I'll post this at 12 o'clock. <laughs> okay, so um, the first one is Tumbaco Chardonnay, okay? So, now the first thing I'm going to do is, it smells really fruity. So before I taste this, I want to give you guys a little information on this wine. So the quote is, all happiness depends on a leisurely breakfast by John Gunther. And then on this side, where it gives you all the information about the wine, it says a young, refined, and rich shard from northern Italy, and I Alto Adige, I guess that's the province, I'm not sure. Um, so it's Vinicola Tobacco, it's a 2017 Chardonnay from Triveneto, Italy. So the taste, actually I'm going to go ahead and, and, and taste this before I read the rest of this. All right. Ooh, that's good. Ooh. Ooh, that's real good. Ooh. Mm-hmm. That is, that's a really good Chardonnay, like a really good one. All right, so the taste is intense and richly flavored for such a young wine, green and golden apple, a touch of cedar and a cassia or cassia uh, wood with a tanger tangerine, I cannot talk today tangerine not tangerine tangerine caramel finish pear it's perfect with speck cured ham and other um cutlery a faint banana note makes it perfectly appropriate for breakfast too right so learn this is where you get a little education northeast Ed northeast italy is a melting pot of cultures less than a quarter of the people speak italian and four percent speak latin an all but dead romance language. Wow. So I that's why I love these cards because I feel like they give you a lot of information. Now on the bottom, they tell me the fruit, the body, and the acidity. So I'm gonna let you look at that. To me, this is very fruity. And I think somebody that is maybe not a beginner, but maybe somebody I would say beginner intermediate would actually enjoy this. So all right, next, I'm starting with the, the whites first. Next is, this is so much fun. All right. This is Tobacco Pinot Grigio. All right. Pinot Grigio. Let's go ahead and smell this. This has a fruity floral, fruity and floral smell to me. All right. Vinicola Tobacco, 2017, Pinot Grigio, Triveneto, Italy. All right, let's taste this. Oh, 
Oh, I taste the fruits in here. This is like super fruity. This is super fruity. That is really good. Mm. This is a wine that you can have any time of day. Morning, afternoon, before bed. It probably makes me sound like a real wino. But anyway, all right, so taste. A vivid green straw-colored wine with fruity flavors of apple, peach, fig, and banana. A fresh and crisp white meant to be enjoyed young. That is really good. Like, it is very fruity. Pair it with salads with a tart, vinegar-based dressing, or citrus roasted white fish. Pair as well with anything dusted in Parmesan cheese, too. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so a little education. A warm June allowed an early harvest with fruit so ripe, the winemaker told us the entire cellar smelt of peach once fermentation had begun. Probably did. So as you guys can see here, it is fruity, um, very low in body, and then it's, um, you know, acidic. But I will say, if you're somebody that doesn't like harsh wines, um, you definitely, if the less body, um, you'll probably like it more. So if you're somebody that's just getting into wines, or maybe you're like a beginner slash intermediate, look, if, you, if they have it available, look for something with more fruit and less body, okay? And the, the quote here is, I lick the cheese off Doritos and put them back in the bag. That's gross. I will eat pretty much anything as long as it's salty or sweet or spicy. Chrissy Teigen. That's gross. Like, who does that? She licks the cheese off the Doritos and that's just gross. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, that's just, that's a no-no. Okay. That's weird. All right. So here is the last one. And this is a red wine. Okay. Um, so this is Rosso Verona. Again, these are all from Italy. Now, most people that are getting into wines don't really like reds. And it took me a really, really long time to get into reds. And now I'll drink a red and I'll be like, oh, this is so sweet. And people are just like, oh, it's too dry. It's gross. Um, but yeah, so now I'm big into reds. All right. Ooh, it smells good. So uh, Vinicola Tobacco 2013, uh, Corvina Corvinone Rondinella, Veneto, Italy. All right. This smells fruity, peppery. I could see this going with steak. All right. Oh, that is good. This is sweet. Not really. It's not dry. Guys, I'm so glad there's only three bottles. I'm starting to feel this wine. I'm telling you. That's good. Ooh, I need to stop. I won't get any work done today. Okay. Ooh, that's good. All right, guys. So the taste, chopped herb, exotic spice, and new leather aromas with a robust palette of raisin blackberry extract, coffee, tobacco, and cherry jam. That's good. Pair with the nice Parmesan and dot of age um, balsamico traditionnel, the way they serve it at the winery, if it's not broke. Um, so a little education. Amarone is made from partially dried grapes. Traditionally, the grapes would raisin in the sun on straw mats. Now, most use drying chambers. So again, now the difference between the reds and the whites is you'll see the fruit and body, but reds, instead of seeing the acidity, you'll see the tannin, okay? So this is very fruity. I mean, it's pretty much equal. The fruit, body, and tannin, um, pretty much equal, which is, it, it gives it a great balance. So now if, again, if you're somebody that's like, you know, not beginner, but like beginner intermediate, and you really wanna try wines, if you can, and they do have something similar to this, um, look for the fruit and the body and the tannin to be um, very similar because you'll have more of a balanced wine um, and you'll find that it won't be too dry, you know? Um, that's what I learned. 
So those are the three wines. Again, it is the Tobacco Chardonnay, the Tobacco Pinot Grigio, and the Rosso Verona. Okay? And by the way, the Rosso Verona Crow is raisin cookies that look like chocolate chip cookies are the main reason I have trust issues. That's funny. Woody Page. That's, that is funny. That's funny. Um, so yeah, I mean, all these wines were really, really delicious. Like, I mean, they're really good. And it's not just because, like, I really just love wine and I think all wines taste really good. These wines were really good. Um, and I definitely feel like somebody, like I said, that is an intermediate wine drinker, somebody that's still learning, I think that you would definitely appreciate these wines, seeing as how they're more fruity. Um, and it's perfect for this time of year now that we're going into spring um, to have more fruity wines. You can have it with salads and like, um, you know, I just had a, a mahi, um, a mahi mahi sandwich. It was really, really good. I had that with the salad, and I can see all of these wines actually pairing really good with that. Um, but anyway, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. You can comment below. You can send me a message. You can email me at domandgifts um, at gmail.com. And make sure you check out my Instagram page at domandgifts. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more uh, videos. Bye.